Hey guys, Foreman here, and today we're going to be revisiting a tutorial video I put out several years ago on how to use the mod manager for your Truck Sim 2 in American Truck Sim. It's been quite a few years since I originally made that video, and I've seen some people are um, having issues getting it working, so I'm going to remake this video entirely and just try and go into a little bit more detail. Now, uh, you're not going to recognize this launch pad because this is a brand new launch pad that was introduced in an update, I believe, a year or two ago for both Euro Truck Sim 2 and American Truck Sim. Now, while the layout has changed, the buttons remain the same. So, to access the Mod Manager, you're going to want to hit the Mod Manager button. Now, depending on how many mods you have installed onto into the Mods folder, it may take some time for you to... Uh, it may take some time for the Mod Manager to actually load properly. And when it does load, you'll see a list over here on the left of all the mods that you have installed. And whether you got them from the Steam Workshop or if you've downloaded them from a mod like atsmods.lt, ets2.lt, or any other online modding sites. Now, as you can see, there are some mods that are listed as incompatible. These mods are incompatible primarily because of how... The mod system works. It will not let you activate mods that are marked as incompatible. So like if I try loading up this older Pro Mods version, you can see the arrow to move it over to the Active Mods folder is grayed out. Now there is a way around this, but I do not recommend doing it because you might cause more issues uh, for your game than you really need. So pretty simple. To activate a mod, I'm just going to use this RJL Scania. To activate a mod, go ahead and click it over, click that right arrow, and the mod will be activated. To disable it, it's this bottom one over to deactivate. Now, if you have a bunch of mods and you want to activate them all at once, you can click these two, these two arrows right here, which will activate every single mod that you have in the list right here, in the actual mod manager list right here. Now, if you want to deactivate all mods, you do the exact same thing, except you're going to click the button just below it. Below that, you have uh, increased priority and decreased priority. This is helpful if you have a specific mod load order that you need. Say, for example, you're running pro mods, and, and the uh, load order requires that pro mods uh, be one of the first mods that it loads to avoid crashes. You can use the... Increase priority and decrease priority buttons to move the mods around to get the proper load order for the mods that you want to use in the game. Now, you can also do these. I believe these buttons are to move everything to the top or everything to the bottom. I'm not sure what those buttons do. I've never clicked those before. Um, so, say, for example, you're looking for a specific mod. You can use the search function. So, say, for example, I am looking for the tandem mod. If I just search tandem... Uh, I just spelled that wrong. If I search Tandem, it will come up with all the mods that are matching that title. So you see I have two different BDF Tandem Pack mods enabled. And I believe this one's for 1.43. Uh, if you select a mod and before you activate it, you can, you, you can hit the I and that will give you information on the mod. And as you can see, this one is for 1.43. And it's version 143 for 1.43. So that is a very unique um, mod right there. I might actually use this relatively soon in the stream as well. Um, for mods that you get from the Steam Workshop, you can click View Mod on Steam Workshop, and it will open it up in the Steam Workshop. Now, you're not able to see this, of course, but it's there. It does work. That button does work. And if you don't want to use the mod anymore, you can click Unsubscribe right from the game, and it will unsubscribe, the, it will unsubscribe you from the mod entirely. Now say for example you want to use mods that are only in the Steam Workshop and you have mods that you've downloaded from one of the sites I mentioned earlier. You can click show only Steam Workshop items and it will show you only mods that you have subscribed to on the Steam Workshop. This is a really neat little function as you can see what mods you got from the Steam Workshop as whenever an update is published, Steam will automatically download the updates and your mods will always be up to date. I highly recommend getting mods from the Steam Workshop because of those reasons I just mentioned. 
You can also favorite your mods. So if you click the star there, you can favorite the mods that you like using on the daily and it will um, order them in it will order them right with right next to each other so they're always for, easy for you to see. Or what you can also do is you can hit the favorites only button and it will show you only the mods that you like the most. Down below that you have the sorting. So if you're looking for a specific mod, you can sort it by name, installation time, author, and status if you know what you're looking for. So if you know the name of the mod, you can sort it by name and go through alphabetical order. If you know who made the mod, you can sort it by author and you can find it from there. Or if you just want to go by installation time, it will show you the most recent, uh, recently installed mods first. Now, there's also other categories. You can actually sort by category, too. So, there's a whole slew of stuff. I'm not going to read all of these off. But you can, if you're looking for a specific trailer mod, you can sort by trailers. Now, if I do that, you'll see it is going to show the military cargo pack by Jazzy Cat in the railway cargo pack because those are trailer mods. There is also a Sissel's trailer pack that's also available for you to use. Uh, you can also sort by trucks, you can sort by weather setup, physics, graphics, models, movers, walkfabs, prefabs, and other. There's a whole lot of things you can do. You can sort by to look for a very specific mod uh, in your mods folder. So that is everything that you need to know for the mod manager. Now, once you're done messing with the mod manager and getting all your mods in the that you want, make sure you click confirm changes. If you hit escape, you'll get this ask you'll get this dialog box asking you if you want to exit the mod manager and that any changes you have made will be lost if you exit the mod manager. You need to select confirm changes for it to save your changes before those mods will um, be activated and such. So that is just a quick little tutorial on how to use the mod manager. Uh, I may remake this video in a couple years if anything changes with the mod manager or if people need more help as well. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.